Hello everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! Just bang my hand on my chair, what you gonna do? Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the ranked mode inside of Pokemon Unite, your ranked rating once you get into Master, and just kind of some of my overall thoughts about what's going on with the ranking system inside this game. Uh, if you're maybe following some other content creators on here, you probably have seen people talk about the issue with Ranked right now, and I just wanna give my take on it. First of all, I will say, I'm not the best player in this game. Uh, I'm the second best. No, as I say often, uh, I'm a solid player. I fill a lot, so I don't have one Pokemon that I'm amazing with, but I have a few that I'm really, really strong with. And I'd say, if you get me in a game, I am, I don't know if that was a really loud, me moving that mic. If you get me in a game, I am a solid eight most of the time. Every once in a while, I move up into a really, really uh, solid like nine or a 10 if I'm playing really, really well. That being said, it's kind of irrelevant depending on where you get placed in the game. So once you make it into master rank, you don't only get placed with master rank players. I assume that is most likely because there aren't enough people in master rank, so the queue times would be really long. I come from some MOBAs where if you are a really high ranked player, you will just sit there for a long time waiting for a match, waiting for a match, waiting for a match. And I'm sure they don't want that. And they also know that the game is pretty new. So this is something that can be fixed. But once you're in Master, you are paired with people in Master Rank who might have just gotten there and are kind of still learning the game, to be fair. It takes a long time to understand what's going on in a MOBA. People in Ultra Rank and people in Veteran Rank. So when you get paired with someone in ultra or veteran and they're taking a real key role in the match like the jungler and they're really not competent yet this isn't a knock on them as a player it's just the truth we're all learning this game still i've been playing mobas for a long time and i'm always still learning how to get better trying to make my game a little bit tighter so when you get paired with someone who's in a pivotal role and you know what it, it can be anyone i'm saying it's the carry even though that's one of the most important roles uh in the game because they have the most experience so they have the largest responsibility sometimes for taking people out in an encounter so if you have a low ranked Greninja and I'm a really really solid support in this game or something like that you might not be able to do anything if the other team has a really strong master rank level player in their jungle or if they're just we don't know this if they're just a set of people who are playing at a higher level so the issue you run into is once you get into master rank you can't control as much whether you win or lose unless you are paired with a five person team so then comes the question of well what does that mean for your ranking i'll show you my ranking right here it was at 1100 the other day and i think i lost you know probably uh 10 out of my last 12 matches where is it jake get your life together here i am i'm at 960 a hey, 969 not bad maybe i'll keep it here so you could look at that ranking and be like, oh, Jake, that's bad. And there have been times when ranking's a lot higher. There was a time my ranking was dipped into the eights. And my thought process here is, yeah, that's not a good ranking. Of course it's not. But there's nothing you can do about your ranking when you are playing by yourself. You can't control it. The best you could do is climb bit by bit again when i'm on a hot streak i get up into the 11s 12s hundreds again when i'm on a you know a losing streak trying new things i dip back down into the thousands 900s so i just came off like a like 10 games 12 games where i probably only won a few and the tough thing about it is it's not an indicator of where you are skill-wise. Again, I'm not gonna be at the top of the ladder. I don't mind that at all, because the way they have this set up, I can never be. Now, if you are a five-person team, you only play with those five people, and you run a lot of games, then that indicator is actually a pretty good indicator of where maybe you land. But at the same time, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't show where your skill level is compared to someone who solos because we can never we can never parse it out based on this number. 
because the people who solo are put into situations that the people who run a five-man team can never ever be put into. So what's my point with all this? My point is until they create a system where you're at least playing with people of a similar skill level, solo queue players will always go up and down in rank. You don't gain enough when you win, even if your win rate is 55, 60%, 65 if you're amazing. Uh, you don't gain enough when you win to climb. You only can really climb as a five person team. And that's just because you get paired with things that you can't, you can't outplay multiple members of your team not yet knowing how to play the game. You can't. And then there are some games where you do, I mean, because of some of the catch up mechanics inside this. But I guess my big thought here is, it's not a good indicator of anything right now. In fact, I would wager the more you play solo queue, the lower your rank is going to be. By bit by bit, you're gonna just go up and down, but you'll never be able to climb. You would have to be the absolute best player at this game to climb. The only way that rank matters is if you are playing with dedicated five person teams. And even then there, there just feels like there needs to be separate areas for people to play in. You need to have people who are playing solo queue, maybe solos and duos, and that way everyone is in master at that point and you're at least getting a team that should know what's happening and you can see what your rank is there. And then you need a separate ranking system for full on five person teams. Because the other thing that happens is from time to time you solo queue ranked and you clearly get paired with a team that is communicating and you'll never ever win that game. So those are just my thoughts on the rank system right now. I love Pokemon Unite. I don't wanna be down on it. And I hope this video isn't too negative, but it just, it's an issue. And it's something that they need to work on. The game's very new, so I'm not upset by it, but I just see people talk about their master rank from time to time. And I think, I don't know what to tell you, except it's not a great indicator of skill level. Okay, I hope that was interesting. Thank you for watching or listening. Let me know what you think in the comments, maybe ways they could fix this. I just think once more people are playing it and more people get into master rank and we kind of have different places we can put people inside the game, the ranking system will make more sense. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Ah!